Good morning everyone. Welcome to the Bearded Bama Bush Crafter. I was wanting to plant my blueberry bush. And in a prior video I had talked about doing so. And I was prevented due to fire ants. I guess the measure that I used, took, to get these fire ants out of this pot was unsuccessful and I still have fire ants in here there's a bunch of them I thought they were gone oh man they're not <laughs> they're still in my pot I've got to get rid of them so now I'm gonna have to do something else fire ants I don't want to take them put them in the ground and they just build a big huge mound so, it's going to be another time for me to plant that blueberry bush. I bought that bush last fall, I believe it was, and I let it overwinter, go dormant in the pot. And now it's time to get it out. I'm having trouble with it. It's frustrating. But anyway, I'll get it done. So today, I'm out. This beautiful Sunday, look at that sky, that bluebird sky. Some wispy clouds, the wind is, March winds are blowing. I'm just out trying to do some things. I got another tree that I'm going to put in the ground. And uh, I'm going to feed some chickens here. Let's go see what the chickens are up to. There is a feed. I guess you'd call them manufacturer for um, animals like horses and I think they make horse and cattle, but I get my chicken feed. It's called Faithway. They're up in the northern part of the state of Alabama. And I love their product. They make some good chicken feed. Everybody's happy this morning. What's up, chicky chickies? I, um... Went to pick up some feed yesterday, and they were out of my fighting scratch. So, fighting scratch has a lot of, I think about 11 different seeds in it. Sunflower seeds, all kind of good stuff. But earlier in the winter, I noticed that my girls here, what's up babies? Sergeant Major, there's Dave. What's up Dave? <laughs> Sergeant Majors, my gobbler. They were not laying. And that was kind of frustrating because some of the hens that I had, they're, they're supposed to be hardy layers. And I got talking to my neighbor and I realized I was not putting enough protein to my girl. So I started putting protein with the, um, which I got to get that bag up here, with the laying pellets. I started putting that to them. They were eating it. Man, check this out. Let's see if we can see this here. Boom. Look at that. Those protein nuggets. What's up, Dave? Sergeant Major talking to us this morning. Look at his strut lines. He's a Narragansett, which is an old breed, and her a heritage breed of uh, domestic turkeys, which is raised with, um, I say raised, in their um, bloodline is the uh, wild turkey. Man, those are some good turkeys. I had a bunch of them at one time. I had a coyote come through, and wasn't, I didn't know what was going on. I knew something was going on because my hens were disappearing. And I had a bunch of turkey poults that hatched off. and <sighs> So, coyote was coming through. And he was making about a big circle about once a week. He'd stop off here and have him a turkey dinner. When I figured out what was going on, I set a little trap line. My neighbor was gracious enough to let me put some traps down on uh little field that was below my house here and it took me about a week and I caught that joker that coyote does not bother us anymore 
what I like doing with my chicken feed is I mix it. This is the 22% laying pedal, pellets. Really helps them. Puts that protein to them. They sure are shiny. Legs looking good. Their eyes look good. And they're laying, they're laying good. This is what I normally mix in. My knockout. Knockout. But they were out of it yesterday at the feed store, so I had to settle for the Mighty Scratch. Only has two or three different types of seeds in it. What's up, girls? <laughs> oh, yeah. Getting fed. Getting fed. Come on, girls. Come on. Come on. They love to eat, just like I do. Now, that darker rooster, that's Dave's son. We haven't named him yet. My children like to name him, so therefore they become pets. All right, with this mighty scratch, let me see if I can. This only has, I think, two or three different seeds, maybe four. I can't remember the bag said, and it has less protein. But the super knockout has twelve percent. And with the laying pellets, it's at 22, so that knocks it up to, um, what is that, 34%? Am I math right? Yeah. Yep, 34%. So they get a lot of protein here. They're only going to get, I think it's 7%. So it's going to be down to about 29%. But I noticed when I have to change the feed, for whatever reason, the, the they um they kind of get a little finicky but after a while i mean they don't go too long but after a little while they say you know we gotta eat so they eat it and then that knockout some uh some whole corn kernels in that seed and they, man they fight over that stuff they love it so what i'm doing now i'm just trying to mix the pellets with this mighty scratch it's one of the silly things I guess I do. I don't know if it's silly or not, but it's just how I like doing it. I have it mixed up. Because when I started putting the protein pellets back to them, um, they would eat around the, the pellets. But now they're they're eating the pellets. So, and now I'm getting good egg production. Check this out. I just realized this. I got over here. And one of the girls is over here laying... <laughs> They get to scrapping when it's feed time. Watch this. This is funny. Boop, 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 boop. Here we go. Watch out. Watch out. Oh, there's whole corn. Uh, no, it's cracked corn. I was going to say it's whole. It is, but it's cracked. I, I promise you, I feed my chickens. <laughs> I know the way they're eating there. It looks like they don't get fed, but I feed them every day. I'm taking care of these creatures. <laughs> He's ready. He's like, feed me, Seymour. Feed me. Those are my blue Andalusians. Little Banny's this big white hen here. She hatched off. What's up, buddy? Come here. Oh, let's show you off. Look at him. Check him out. He's ready to get down and eat. That's a uh, blue porcelain bantam. I'm not sure. But my banny hen, she's laying too. But this hen right here, this big white one. Something about white colored chickens with mixed colored chickens. They don't, them other chickens got to picking on her. So I wound up, they almost killed her actually. So I had to put her over here with the bantams. She's doing well now. 
she got one eye scarred up. She got beat up pretty bad before I realized what was going on. And uh, we're gonna see if she starts laying soon. 33 eggs collected today. Hey, Daddy. I'm thankful. Check this out. Yeah. Finley and Siley went to the creek. You didn't go with him? Yeah, he did. Did you go? Mm hmm Guess which one he got. <laughs> he caught... I caught some crawdads this morning. Well, it's kind of big. This so one is they're happy. I am in the mood to plant something. I get that way this time of year. And I love to plant things. I often think about people, environmentalists and conservationists, and those are good things, but there are a lot of people who get out with their emotions and they um, are angry. And I often wonder those people who go out and what they call protest on whatever it is. Um, a lot of people get real emotional when it comes to the environment. And I understand that, that we have to protect where we live. But how many of you guys are actually getting out and doing something like planting a tree? This tree I collected on a friend's property north of here. And um, it's an eastern hemlock they grow here. And I actually have one that I planted a couple of years ago that is almost as tall as I am. This has been in a pot for a couple of, almost two years now. It actually, um, I, I like when I had collect them bare root, I like to put them in a pot and let that root ball establish. So then when I plant them, they have a better success rate of surviving. All right, so now I wanna water it in. I put some vitamin B1 solution in the water. Anytime you're transplanting or, or putting a plant in the ground, well, this is <clears throat> transplanting because I transplanted it from a pot to the ground. It's good to, um, to put that B1 in there and it helps settle and against shock and things of that nature. So what I like doing, I fill up this little area, create a little dam, and then I just let it suck in. And what that'll do, that'll push all the, you can see the little bubbles, bloop, bloop, which I, I like to pack the dirt, but I don't try to pack it too hard, but there are still air pockets, and I like that water will push those air pockets out of there. Let me show you this other hemlock. This hemlock I collected some years ago. And it is as tall as I am. Eastern hemlock. It's happy in its place here. You can always tell a happy plant. Look at that. And these trees, I've seen them up in North Carolina. Just huge towers. Stately trees. They're beautiful. I love them. Um, it's fun to get out and do this. It's good for me to I thought I heard it raining, but I don't think it's supposed to rain today. It's good for me to get out and plant. I'm going to get that blueberry bush in the, in the ground for too long. This is the time of the season you want to do it. Actually, I like having things planted a little earlier than this. And uh, help them to get established quicker and be happier and healthier. So, who knows? i got to get those ants out of that pot. This is going to settle nicely. Down here at the shelter. I like having things that... Um, Kind of boosts my spirits and brings me joy when I'm down here at the shelter trying to look up. Silly as it may sound, when I see that tree, it makes me feel good. It makes me think of uh, the mountains. It makes me think of uh, North Alabama, North Georgia, North Carolina. Some of my favorite areas here in the southeast to visit and, and explore. So I'm going to let that water soak in a little bit and then I'm going to put some more on it and then just leave it alone and let it get established. All right, I'm laughing. Yesterday, my son had a a passel of his friends over here, and I, I said, son, I want you to stay out of the shelter. Okay, Dad, we're going to stay out. Look at all these tracks. Those are not my tracks. <laughs> Those are boy tracks. They were down here. Look at the mud. They were all up in here, plundering around, plundering around. So, uh, Zane, I know you were here. 
<laughs> my nephew comments a lot on my videos and earlier he commented about that I should be doing an intro and I pretty much asked him if he had helped me so he's helping me and I'm hoping here soon that to make my videos more enjoyable and more appealing and uh, so that more folks will watch because that's the whole idea right you want to build your channel and, and uh, get subscribers and have a, a something that people will enjoy watching um, he's helping me with an intro <clears throat> so who knows maybe before too long I'm gonna have an intro and then I guess I'll have to do an outro all these lingos for YouTube an introduction and an outroduction is that a word well I'm going to piddle around the shelter here for a little while the boys two of my boys are down in the creek y'all saw that that was a pretty nice little catch of crawfish I wish we could get a big old five gallon bucket full of those things and have us a crawfish bowl man those things are so yummy little small tiny lobsters he caught a big one Shoot, that sucker was as long as my hand. It was a big one. I hear him down there now. All right, guys. Y'all get out. Don't sit around. Get out and do something. I had somebody stop by the other day, and he um, really enjoyed seeing um, my birds, the chickens, and the turkey. And I told him, man, if you got a little small area, build you a, a small coop, like a little small chicken tractor. Get you three or four laying hens. You don't have to have a rooster if you want to eggs or... Man, something about chickens. I like sitting there watching them. Free entertainment. Wholesome entertainment. And um, they're fun to watch. They're fun to to go and collect the eggs and just feed. I enjoy my chickens. Get out and plant a tree. Plant something. If you feel like you need to do something, there you go. Go plant a tree. I feel good. I feel... That brought me joy. Joy is a good thing. And uh, I encourage you to do these things. Get out. Have some chickens. If you can't, sorry for you. Uh, watch videos about chickens. I guess you could do that. There's things that I'm not able to do, and I'll watch videos of other people doing it. And I'm like, man, that's cool. Wish I could do that. But anyway, I hope everyone is doing well. I broke a sweat. I broke out a sweat. Still a little cool here. And uh, it is raining just a little bit. Hopefully it's not raining where my wife and son are with their baseball tournament. I don't think it is. Just some light showers moving through. But um, get back to what I was saying. Hope everybody has a wonderful day. Hope you are enjoying your time. And um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you for following along, watching these videos. Hit that like button. Uh, if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. I'm getting closer to that 150, and I'm going to do that giveaway of that bill hook machete looking forward to doing that and then who knows what we're going to do after that i'm in the process of some merchandise ideas yeah i'm going to try to build this thing i'm serious about this channel and i'm learning every day every time i post a video or get out here and do something i'm learning and i think that's a good thing if you stop learning something's wrong so anyone so uh anyway i hope everybody like i said hope your day is wonderful Take care, and we will see you on down the road.